Hi, today I'm reviewing the Violet Voss Top Notch Pro Eyeshadow Palette. And really quick, I just want to say I purchased all these products with my own money so you know you can trust my opinion is what I honestly believe. And if you want to help support the channel, click on the Amazon link below before you make your purchases. So this eyeshadow palette is uh, new to Sephora, the brand Violet Voss, and this sells for $45. And they have a few new palettes uh, that are now at Sephora, like I just said. Um, and this is the Top Notch palette, and top being T-U-A-P-E, as in taupe, taupe notch. Um, so it's got a variety of some grays, taupes, browns, um, and more neutral colors. And the one thing I wish they had was a couple more light colors on this palette. Um, but for $45, it's a decent amount of eyeshadow. I think there's 20 colors and it sells for $45. So um, that's a pretty decent deal. Uh, the one thing when I was reading about this palette was I was trying to figure out where it was made in. And on the side of the box, it says made in PRC. So I was like, PRC, what is that? And I'm like, is it the... Uh, People's Republic of China. So I Googled it, and of course it is the People's Republic of China. So um, that was kind of a clever way to put that on there, except without really putting the word made in China on there. And so they're kind of clever putting PRC. So I kind of feel like that's trying to be a little misleading toward the average person when they're just going to see made in PRC. Okay, whatever. It's not made in China, so I'm not worried. But um, things that are made in China do have a higher risk of certain contamination of certain elements in there. Um, not intentionally put in or anything, but just things made in China definitely have a higher rate of some contamination of some ingredients. So it's definitely something to watch out for. Um, I personally would rather buy something made in America versus China. Um, but that being said, I would definitely be careful using any of the eyeshadow palettes that are made in China on areas around your lips. You don't want to ingest anything, especially when there is a chance of certain contaminations of certain elements and and uh, ingredients. So definitely something to be aware of. And I'm not a huge fan of uh, things made in China. And I don't like that they put PRC because I really think that's trying to kind of uh, dissuade people from realizing that it was made in China. Anyway, so I'm going to set that aside and I'm going to give you guys some swatches. So there's swatches of most of the colors. They are pretty buildable. The light colors um, are definitely a lot lighter. Some of them hardly show up, but that's just because I'm fair as well. Um, there is a little bit of fallout on some of the colors. And the other thing is um, the eyeshadows are infused with uh, jojoba oil. So it makes them a lot more blendable than a lot of other eyeshadows. Um, it makes them a little more creamy. So definitely something to keep an eye out. Um, and it's definitely a nice palette. Um, some of the colors, uh, the mattes are decent. Um, the shimmers, some of them are a little more crumbly, but um, they're all pretty blendable and buildable as well. So um, it's definitely a decent eyeshadow palette. Um, I wish there were a couple more light colors in there, but there's definitely enough colors to make a lot of different looks, a good variety of looks. And um, there's some definitely unique colors in there. Um, World Class is pretty unique. Um, uh, VIP is beautiful. Supreme is also very beautiful. So um, there's a nice array of colors. So definitely um, something to consider if you're in the market for some eyeshadow. Um, but like I said, I've got some issues with some of the branding of the product. Um, I'm not a huge fan of the fact that it's made in China, um, especially $45 for an eyeshadow palette is, I guess for Sephora is kind of mid-range, but I still kind of would rather have it made in the U.S. or North America or I'm just not a huge fan of things made in China in general. So, um, but definitely I would not recommend using it any other area other than your eyes. Definitely not around your lips. I've read some reviews of people online using some of these um, on their lips on top of like uh, chapstick or on top of lipsticks. Um, so definitely don't do that because you definitely don't want to take the chance of ingesting anything. So for me, I'm not going to give this palette any thumbs up. I'm not going to give it any thumbs down either. 
um, kind of neutral on it, I guess, uh, something to consider. So I'm interested if you guys have had a chance to check out uh, this palette or anything else from the Violet Voss brand. Uh, let me know what your thoughts were, if you liked it or not. And also feel free to subscribe. I come with at least one new review every day. Thank you guys.